I have got a treat for you this Saturday. These are my top five tips to stop chunking chips. That was one hell of a mouthful. Okay, this is stuff you can do from your garden, this is stuff you can do at the driving range, and if you're lucky enough to be able to play golf right now, well, I am very jealous of you. So you know what, like, it was a Masters last week, and this last Saturday we were watching the Masters unfold. A lot of people said they didn't quite enjoy it, and a lot of people did say they enjoyed it. I want to know what you wanted to rate the Masters out of 10. Now, take into account, obviously, there was no crowds there, but let's rate the Masters out of 10. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I think it was really good. The only thing that I missed was the crowds, but on the other hand, I thought you got to see the slopes a little bit better of the golf course. So, let's see what you hear about this. So, tip number one. We're going to start off with this as setup, and all these things, yes, okay, you may have heard one or two of these before, but stick around for the final two because they are absolute gold dust. And by the way, you may not have heard of this, so stick around for them all because they could just be that little bit of golden nugget information that stops you hitting that chunk shot. We hate the chunk shot, right? Okay, so setup. If you're at home, driving range, wherever you are, I've got these two lines here. I want you to start off by establishing your ball's target line. So we'll just take this bit center of the net here. I've then set about a 25 degree angle between my yellow and my blue, where I want to feel as though my lower half is down the yellow, my upper half is down the blue. This is going to encourage quite a neutral path into the ball. And then I want it to feel I've got a nice narrow stance with my weight on my left hand side. So tip number one is how we stand to the golf ball and how we finish this little bit of a tip off is making sure we get a little bit close to the ball. This really helps us control the length of the swing, this really helps us control the strike and it's amazing how we find a lot of people's short game mistakes are just evolved around that setup. So to summarize that for you right there, address the ball, shuffle in, start with everything square, narrow stance a clubbed width apart, ball position in the middle, pull the left foot back, weight foot goes left, shoulders stay down the blue, hips and feet down the yellow. We're now in a great position to start hitting those chip shots. Let's go on to tip number two. So tip number two is this this one. I like to feel, especially if I've got someone that's chunking those chips, that we try and feel we do a little bit of the opposite. So I want you now to take one of these alignment sticks and place it just behind the ball. And this is great because you could even do this inside. Now, if you think if you're chunking this ball, you're going to be shallowing the swing out early. So what I mean by shallowing it out early, your bottom of the arc will be hitting the ground before the ball. Now, in an ideal scenario, our bottom of the arc wants to happen past the ball. So placing this alignment stick down on the ground behind you is the second way you can stop chunking those chips. Feel like you hit those chips away, really trying to avoid that alignment stick. And it's roughly two club heads widths away. Way. Club down, through, avoid that alignment stick for tip number two. Tip number three. This is a one handed drill, and usually we actually just use our right hand because I really like that feeling of it working as a unit together. But I've been experimenting with this one. I want you to grab it with your lead hand now, place the golf ball directly at the end of the alignment stick. Get close, get into your setup, get your lead hand on the club and your trail hand on your lead elbow, and just hit some shots away with that feeling of that left wrist working and staying towards target. Now, if you should chip this ball away correctly, it's going to require you to get the arms and the body working nicely together. If you're working it like this, and very floppy and very handsy, it's going to be very, very hard for you to make contact. If we keep it nice and constant, look at the strike I've just managed to deliver on both of those shots. I can't take credit for this one. Very, very famous golfer, John Daly. I remember going to one of his, um, I guess, talks. He said he used to stand there, driving range, kind of Diet Coke in his hand and something else in his mouth, just chipping them away. And that really gave him a great feeling to get that strike. Now, if it's good enough for him, multiple winner, very successful golfer, it's good enough for us guys as well. So they're the first three of our top five little drills to help us improve strike and stop those duff shots. And I always want to pick out a comment that I saw on YouTube. I think this is going to really help us all. Okay, so I've got a great question here from Down Ring, and it was on last week's short game video, and I'll leave a link to that video just up here. He said, question, do you use a 60 degree or wedge or eight iron, and what determines your club selection? So this is actually a hard one, obviously, because uh, I've not got a green and we're on the driving 
range. But I want you to use this rule of thumb. Number one, if you can put it, let's put it. If you can chip it, let's run it. So that'll be something like more like a pitching wedge, an eight iron or a nine iron. And last resort, use your most lofted clubs like your 58 or your 60 to get that ball in the air. You've got to use that easier option of getting that ball rolling out like a putt. You'll be surprised how many more times you're going to chip in. Stick to that rule of thumb and it's going to really help you improve your short game on the golf course. Obviously, don't make a difference chip into a net. We're looking at really improving that strike here. Let's get into the final two tips here. If you've noticed, well, everything that we're trying to do here when we're trying to control strike is get a good setup, is get a good function, but it's making sure that we've got that bottom of the arc happening ahead of the golf ball. That helps us create that ball and turf impact. So number four on our list is this drill. I want you to get the ball again on the end of the alignment stick. I want you to stand to the golf ball and I want you to pull your right foot back. So now everything of your weight, your body weight and your sternum is ahead of the golf ball. And because you're on one foot, it has to be fixated there. If we're moving behind it, we're gonna fall over over and really make it a lot harder for us to make that nice strike and that nice compression of the golf ball. Do that feeling when you get that chip and it runs up the face, all these drills are going to allow you to get that. So standing into that ball, right foot back or left foot back for a left handed player, into the shots, keep the weight left feel that strike and really hold that pose. If you've noticed, every time I've hit a chip, my lower half has stayed quite quiet and my upper half has done most of the business. It will move a little bit and I don't want you to think of it as it has to stay sturdy, it has to stay rigid, but just think of it this way. If we can keep it a little bit quieter, that's really going to help us. Okay, let's move on to our final short game tip. Stop those chunks, stop those duffs. And by the way, try each and every one of these because like I said earlier in the video, there may just be one that is that little bit of a bingo moment for you. For the final tip, you're going to need a bucket. Now with this bucket, it's gonna be real nice, simple feelings. I want you to stand into golf posture for your chip. Now, I don't want you to make any quick, sort of sharp movements because you can really see how the bucket would move a lot. And that would be the club face moving a lot and becoming very independent. I want you to stand over a chip and make some swings and get the bucket to move as little as possible. Make it smooth, make it fluid. Imagine there's water in here, we don't want it all tipping out everywhere. Can we make it smooth, can we make it fluid? As soon as we change everything, all this water will tip everywhere. And I love this drill because it gives you a great sense of, right, okay, smooth acceleration through the ball, keep everything left, smoothly accelerate. Apply that now into your shot, walk into the shot, weight stays left, smoothly accelerate through the target. You can hold it, you can pose it, we really feel like we've got a consistent strike on the golf ball. And if you've noticed, when we get better at chipping, we'll always chip that ball with that club around a certain trajectory and our window opportunity will become quite constant. If we're struggling to control the loft and control the speed, sometimes it'll go high, sometimes it'll go low, sometimes it'll be knife, sometimes it'll be chunk, sometimes it'll be a daisy cutter. These are all the stuff that we don't want to happen. So I really hope you enjoyed those five simple tips. And as you saw, I pulled out a question halfway through this video. And if you've got any questions about your game, I'm here to help you improve. So we'll fire them down below. Thanks so much for joining me. Enjoy your weekend.